Hi, I'm going to take a stab at this. Um, I've been talking about doing this for a long time um, with friends and family members. And I'm one of those people that's very highly opinionated on Facebook. So I've decided to try and take it from Facebook to YouTube and see if I can't um, get some feedback from some people and see if like my topics are valid and relevant to some people. Um, I want to talk about a lot of things from the male-female relationship to um, parent-child relationships, um, love, hating, sex, marriage, interracial marriage, intercultural marriage, pretty much anything I have experience with. Um, I am 37 years old. My name is Kenesha, and that's all I'll give you is my first name for now. <laughs> and um, I have a five-year-old daughter from my first marriage. Uh, and I kind of have a lot of studies under my belt as well. I will say two of my favorite people that I watch on YouTube are um, Elliot Hulse, H-U-L-S-E, Elliot Hulse, and um, Jad T. Jones. These two brothers, to me, are so dope because they understand women. And a lot of their topics that they cover are topics that help men fix their issues with women. And some of the more humble men actually call in or uh, send in messages, uh, or maybe request information from these cats and they like they take their advice to heart because they know what they're talking about um, the way to be able to tell if a man knows what he's talking about regarding women is the response of the women and most of the women are pretty much floored like myself they're like oh my god he is so on point what is wrong with the rest of the men in the world that they don't get it like he gets it so I would like to be able to do my own YouTube videos and I got tired of waiting around for a videographer to have time to sit down with me to make it you know green screen me and make it look all sweet I got tired of waiting around for um, making it look super official like some of these videos look I said you know what just get on here and just go from the heart and go for it so that's this is my first one and so I want to dive into this first topic of um, of men and how they view women. I don't think it's any different with women and how we view men. And that that's a very difficult thing to get through to men. There's always been this double standard that keeps us from knowing each other. We're so focused on our differences that we don't realize how much we are actually alike. Um, for example, the jealousy issue. It's kind of a, a known thing that, oh, men will be men, that people expect for women to forgive and heal much easier from infidelity than men. I don't know if it's because we expect men, you know, to be philandering fools or... <laughs> if it's because we've set higher standards for women than men in regards to infidelity. Um, but thankfully we live in a time now where people are living out loud. And it's a lot more open now the way women get down as well as the men. So I think the, the playing field is kind of level, but we're still not seeing each other as equals when it comes to the whole jealousy piece. Um, a man, you know, if he goes out, he cheats, he comes back, he's devastated, he's hurt, he hurt the woman that he loves, he genuinely loves this woman, but he's cheated on this woman that he loves, and he's hoping for her forgiveness. But he's not considering that she feels the way he would feel if he were cheated on. Like, of course we both feel the betrayal piece. But there's something that happens inside. There's something that most men can't.
can't get over um, if they have a woman who just the thought of another man touching their woman makes them most men say you know what I can't have her anymore I, there's no way I can get over this when women have to get over it every day well they choose to get over it every day and because more women have chosen to quote unquote get over it it gives men the impression that we're either better at it or we don't feel the hurt or the jealousy as much as they do or that we're built up some type of way where we are supposed to endure infidelity the way that women have I think that through the ages you know we had this you know the lady and the gentleman and ladies traditionally were raised to be a certain way to endure certain things because women are designed for certain strength um, we have a certain depth of character um, that's not always a good thing but not always a bad thing when I say depth of character I don't mean like oh you have such strong brilliant amazing character I mean we're multi-layered multi-dimensional creatures there's a lot to us whereas men are much more simple creatures it's like I can or I can't I'm going to or I'm not where women we have a lot of gray area in the way we deal with things um, but I don't like for men to confuse that with the way we actually feel about infidelity the way we actually feel about being betrayed or the possessiveness that we feel over their body the way they feel possessive over ours um, so even though your woman is there for you and she's forgiving you we don't have a built-in get over it mechanism so it's going to take us just as long if not forever to get over it that you actually gave your body to someone else because we feel possessive just as possessive if not more possessive over your body as you do over ours so what I would like to do with a series of videos is break down uh, and probably just kind of like open up some things so that men can start to see us as equals in matters of love and war. Um, so let me do my. So you guys will see, you know, I'm coming on the humble because I'm using this app on my iPhone called Spotlight. I'm using this Spotlight app to give myself a little bit of lighting. <laughs> and I'm and and this is the beginning of my my. Oh, that's Siri trying to help me. I didn't ask for you, Siri. And I'm going to thank you for your patience with my first video. But I just really want to speak from the heart. And then I'll work on logistics later. Because I just need to get started. I need to get past all these pieces for um, not getting started. Sorry. I've got, like, oil on my face, sleepy eyes. I just am in no way... <laughs> set up for the professional things that you usually get on YouTube, but I do want to get some things across. So the first piece, I do want to get some feedback before I go to my second video, but I want to hear some insight. I want to hear back from the guys, like, what exactly do you think we're made of that says that we endure infidelity better than you do, or unfaithfulness better than you do, or that you know, we don't feel as possessive as you do. Um, I know that we have our differences. I know that, like even for me, it grosses me out more to imagine two men together than two women. I mean, don't take it as me being a homophobe, because that's definitely not the case, but because of the design of the body and because of, you know, the softness of a woman and the way women are able to be close to one another. This is all society inflicted, the way we see things, our perspective is all society inflicted. So 
if I was going to be grossed out for either one of them, it, it would be the men because you guys are harder and you can do way more damage to each other. I mean, until we get girls and get gadgets and all that stuff. But we'll save that for another video. But I do understand that women, the way we carry ourselves, the way we go to the bathroom together, the way we can get on the dance floor together, we are different creatures. But we are so much the same in the way we process things, in the way we process hurt. Uh, the way we process love. Um, so I do, I want to delve into um, men and the way they see women and how a lot of that is based on the relationships with their mothers. And women and the way we see men and how a lot of that is based on our relationship with our mothers. <laughs> because, um, like it or not, the mother is the first person that you bond with. So, the, the father is very important, especially for the women. Especially, I mean, for every, I mean, the, the both parents are important, but the bonding with the mother, the the incubator, the host of life, the carrier, the person that you were joined with before you even came to the planet as your own entity, the initial human touch, you know, the birthing process. How, how long was it between the moment your mom birthed you and the moment she got to hold you? Was there skin to skin contact? Did you come from a family that gave hugs and expressed love uh, vocally and through body language and through the way we treat one another? All of that plays a huge part and who we become as adults and how we love and care for each other. So look for this type of thing in my upcoming videos. I'm going to delve in deep on these relationship topics. And the only way it's going to go well is if you guys give me some feedback. So I'm looking for your um, encouragement to, keep, to, to be bold on these topics, um, to be honest, to be uh, vulnerable, to get naked down to my soul on some of these topics because... In the one-on-one -on -one conversations and some of the Facebook conversations, it, 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 it gets so deep. And I'm like, I have got to find a way to really reach out and uh, actually hear back from some people. So I'm going to get back into this Facebook conversation that I'm having right now online with a good friend of mine. And we're talking about the, the chip on the shoulder dudes and the dudes that get stuck in the friend zone. And I love Elliot Hulse because he has this one video um, called Give Her Many Orgasms. And... It talks about opening a woman up and how to balance. Um, he talks about how to balance tenderness and aggression. And when he did that video, I said, oh, my God, nailed it. Like, it's not something that I've ever sat and thought out in the way that he presented it. But I really love Elliot, so I'll definitely be referring you to him, especially you guys out there that are struggling with these women. Elliot, uh, Austin, Dad, T. Jones, I'll be referring you to them. As soon as you do one of the things, or two or five or six or ten of the things on their ten mistakes that men make with women, I'm going to call you out. And I'm going to call you out in love. Okay? Um, and I beg, I beg your patience with me. Because it, it's going to be a journey. And it's starting today. So, thanks for watching. <laughs>